Hey, this is Chris with Lake Hub. I'm going to show you guys how to rig up for live bait. We went out this morning, we casted the net early, and we found a couple shad, a couple big monster shad. But to get those things hooked up and get them down to look right, to present them right, here's what we do. We take an egg weight, okay? I actually have a pretty little one here, but this is about a half ounce egg weight. You can do a one ounce, two ounce, depending on how it's really calm out here, so you don't need a lot of weight. Uh, fairly large swivel. I have a barrel swivel here so that the weight stops at a certain point, okay? And then you can put on as long as leader as you think. Uh, this is about a two foot leader, sometimes you have three, four foot. And then you tie on a circle hook. All right, this is a little five aught circle hook, okay? Uh, kind of reduces the uh, chance of gut hooking a fish. You can hook them right in the mouth, corner of the mouth. Uh, and then I come in here, uh, hold on a second, let me get my, Get my trusty bait net. Some of the some of the shad that we caught. This thing is a monster. Okay, so got a live shad on here. I'm gonna take them. I'm just gonna hook them right through the mouth. Or sorry, right th this one I'm gonna hook through the nose holes. There we go. Then I'm going to look at the GPS. It looks like they're about 20 feet down there. So I'm going to drop this down. About 20 feet. Crank it up off the bottom. And we're going to wait. Here we go. Live shad fishing for a striper on Lake Texoma. Catch you back in a few minutes. Oh, got one. All right, we finally got, we took a stop and we uh, took some midday live bait. We went and found some shiner. Oh, here we go. A little bit nicer one. All right. Ah, there we go. So that's, uh, that's what happens when you get the right bait with the right hook, the right depth. Catch a nice little 10 inch striper. There we go. We're going to let this guy go. He's a good looking specimen. We probably could keep him, but he's a little too small for us, but. There you go. We're about to wrap it up. Um, we ran out of bait. So uh, one of the ways that when you're using this, I guess people call it Carolina rig, but you got the, the egg weight slides down to the swivel. Uh, when you go to store this, a lot of people will just hook the hook onto their eye and then they, they, they tighten the line up. If you notice, see how it doesn't really, you know, even if it, even if it, even if it uh, tight, it's not really tight. And it'll sit there and bang on your pole your pole's fiberglass, it'll break it up. So don't do that, do this. Give yourself plenty of room, right? Drop the weight down, okay? Bring it around the bottom of your reel and then hook this back up towards the top. Now what this does is it puts the weight right up against, watch this, puts the weight right up against the bottom of the pole, okay? See that? And it doesn't bang around and break your pole. Just connects, holds it in place. Doesn't doesn't beat up the fiberglass on your pole. Everything's nice and tight, and you don't have to worry about your pole getting damaged. So there's a tip to storing your live bait rig once you're once you're done fishing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. It's Chris with Lake Hub, uh, fishing with live bait out of Lake Texoma. Catch you later.